Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, the number one place for people who love design, arts and all things creative. I'm Jacqueline and I'm an interior architect and designer here at DNB. and today's video is all about how to decorate your rental property without damaging the existing building shell and how to make it feel like your home. If you rent a home then you know how complex it can be to actually make changes to your house or apartment in the first place, right? I feel like there's so much grey area with what you can and can't do. For example, I've heard in America, it's very mixed. Here in the UK, you can't actually change that much. Australia are apparently very strict. And in Germany, where renting culture is huge, you can actually customize your home to whatever you want it to be. But on the flip side with that is you have to put in your kitchen cabinets, sinks, appliances, etc. So there definitely seems to be different levels of how you can upgrade your rental globally. And growing up over the years, I have absolutely seen how renting your home has overtaken home ownership, at least in terms of the age in which you purchase your first home, to the point where it's kind of become a millennial Gen Z meme here in the UK. But let's not get into that today. <sighs> Anyways, I feel like this video was definitely long overdue and I really want to give you guys some useful renter friendly home decor that you can actually achieve and also keep your deposit. So if you're interested, let's jump in. So if you want to carry out a rental makeover, then my first piece of advice is to focus more on the home decoration side of things as opposed to the hardware of the property. I think that we're all guilty of going into a home and wanting to change the wall color or the flooring or anything that we don't particularly like, but unfortunately with the rental, we don't exactly have that luxury to change them. By all means, I would say contact the owner and ask if you can paint the walls or change the flooring because you never know they may say yes. But to steer clear of any possible problems, try and ignore the details that you don't like by focusing on things you can change, like the soft furnishings, like curtains, furniture, cushions, and home decor pieces. Once you dedicate your energy to the things you can change, your rental makeover is going to be much more stress-free. Now, I know that a lot of us like color in our homes, but usually landlords will make sure that the property is completely neutral in color to make it appealing and sought after on real estate websites. And because of that, we're essentially being given blank canvases. So to inject color into the space, I would say think of accent pieces like vases, cushions, picture frames, blankets, furniture, lighting, and plants or flowers. Just because you don't paint your wall in a bold lapis hue, it doesn't mean that you won't achieve the blue look you're going for. So before jumping into making a big permanent change like painting the walls, buy accent decor pieces with bright pops of color to freshen up the rented home. Now, just because we're not allowed to paint, it doesn't mean that we can't transform the wall space at all. You can hang family photos and artwork by using these command strips. Forget about screws, nails, and drilling into the wall. You don't need to worry about that. The command strips work by attaching one side to the frame and another to the wall, and then simply sticking together. Then to remove, pull the tab straight down slowly. Because these are easy to remove, it means that you're able to keep your walls damage free, which is of course what we're looking for when renting. Another way to cover up walls is by leaning items against them instead of hanging them up. For example, you could put a large mirror in your entranceway, which is also very trendy at the moment too. Personally, I love this look and it also maximizes on the wall space you've got as well. Just like the wall situation, landlords tend to give you a home that has a new hardwood floor because that then does affect what cost they rent the property at. So for them, it makes sense to invest in hardwood flooring. I feel like in the US, you guys have lots of properties with hardwood laminate flooring, but here in the UK, houses filled with carpets in every room are still very prevalent, not fashionable, but still very common. And because that isn't very trendy anymore, what I say you could do is try and cover up the floors by using natural flat woven rugs. 
Now I know putting a rug on what is essentially a rug might seem counterproductive, but what you're actually doing is making sure that you give yourself a plain base to decorate on, especially if you have a carpet that looks like this. When we look to the windows and shades, hopefully your landlord has left you with a curtain rail or blinds and not just left you with a bare window. If you have a curtain rail, then that's a really easy fix to change up your interior. But if you have a whole set of blinds and it's a little trickier as you can't just rip out the whole thing. In which case, if you do have blinds, there's this clip called the no-no bracket, which sits on the blind head rail attachment, and then you can fit in a curtain rail just like normal. So that is definitely a simple hack you can try without damaging the blinds in your home. One of the biggest parts of an interior's atmosphere is the lighting and lighting can instantly change the way your space feels. Usually in UK homes, these kinds of pendant lights are left for the tenant to decorate or sometimes a lampshade is provided. Nonetheless, those are easily interchangeable. If you're dealing with something like this, which is a bit more complex and fitted, I would suggest to leave it and instead focus on purchasing eye-level lighting. If you have a horrendous light above, draw people's attention lower to beautiful table lamps, floor lamps and candles. Trust me, I know it's not exactly ideal to have a light in your house that you don't really love, but if you have other ones that counteract that one, then your rented space will start to feel more and more like your home. Another thing that you can draw the eye towards are decorative pieces. Home decor items that have ornate or extravagant details will make sure to distract the eye from the other things you don't particularly love within the space. Kitchens can be um, really interesting sometimes in rental properties and one thing I think you can do to fix that is by putting in a funky fridge. Bold and colourful fridges or patterned ones create intrigue and also add some fun to what could otherwise be a boring kitchen. And personally I love these Barbie pink ones, I just think that they're so much fun. Because drilling walls isn't really allowed and we can't put up cabinets or shelving, look to using bookcases and wall entertainment units. Those make sure that you can display smaller decorative pieces whilst also storing lots of things that you want hidden, like files, cables and remotes. If you're renting a small apartment or home, I'll leave my design hacks for small apartments at the end because I cover all that kind of stuff in that video. I also follow a lot of bookstagrammers and book channels here on YouTube and I have to say that actually having a bookcase that houses your books in a neat and colourful way is actually becoming a home decor trend in itself, so that could be something that upgrades your rental. For the bedroom, I think that a large ornate headboard that takes up the majority of the wall would make the space feel a lot more lived in and not like a rented space. Rented houses tend to be obvious when there is nothing on the walls, but by using a large enough headboard, you're getting rid of that problem in an unchallenging way. If you're struggling with storage, the simplest way to upgrade your home is to use overdoor hooks. Literally one of the most uncomplicated home decor pieces to make sure that you're not infringing on the walls. And overdoor hooks sound pretty boring, don't they? But honestly, nowadays there's all kinds of interesting designs that you could place into your home. Really, interior design for rental properties is all about making sure that your personality and style is seen throughout the space, whilst also taking into consideration design restrictions. So as long as you're doing those two things, your rented space will 100% feel like your own cozy home. If you want more advice, I actually have a whole playlist with interior design and home decor tips, so I've left it linked in the description. And if any of you are new, then I just want to welcome you to the channel where we talk about home decor, interior design, and all that cool creative stuff in between. So if any of that interests you, feel free to subscribe. But if you are already a Creative Crew member, then please give the video a big thumbs up because it really, really does support us. I hope that you found my rental friendly upgrades helpful and let me know in the comments how you decorate your own rental property. I really, really appreciate it guys if you made it all the way to the end and I will see you in the next video. Bye.